Jesus told his disciples this parable. A man going on a journey called in his servants and entrusted his possessions to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to a third one, and to each according to his ability. Then he went away. After a long time, the master of those servants came back and set forth accounts with them. The one who had received five talents came forward, bringing the additional five. He said, Master, you gave me five talents. See, I have made five more. His master said to him, well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. The gospel of the Lord. We see that this man was going on his journey. While he was going, he had three servants. One he gave five talents. The second one he gave two. And the third one he gave one. But while he came back, he wanted these three people to make an account to see how or what they did with these talents. But the last one, the response he gave to his master was, how can you expect to reap what you did not sow? And the master called him, you are a wicked servant. You know, in the world we live today, Everyone has his or her own talent. There is this particular gift God has given each and every one of us. But sometimes we don't recognize that. Sometimes what we look, look for is maybe if you make me the president of the United States today, I'm going to change this country just in a day. The small gift, this small talent God has given to you, have you thought about using this talent to change yourself or to change your family? You may say that you don't have money. If I have money, I will help everyone. I may not know, but you know. If you don't have the gift, maybe the gift of singing, praising God, you have the gift of helping people, even the church. You still have other gifts, maybe gift of prayer. Do you use that gift or have you buried that gift? Why are you here on earth? That is the question we have to ask ourselves. Why are you here? Are you in this world just to make money? Just to train your children? And after that, what is that again? What is the next? Why are you doing or what are you doing in this world? The gift God has given you, how have you used them? Have you used those gifts to help the poor? Which gift do you have? You may say that, oh, maybe God doesn't love me because if God loves me, he would have made me to be like this person. No. I think all of us know the story of St. John Mary Vianney. St. John Mary Vianney, during his seminary life, 
He struggled a lot to become a priest. He tried all his best, but the reason was because it's not that he didn't know like other courses we do in the seminary, but Latin was his problem. He was getting F, F in his Latin course. And because of that, they didn't want to ding him. His formators in the seminary, everyone was against him. They wrote against him. They didn't want him to become a priest. But while his priestly ordination was approaching, they wrote to his superior general that this man, we have not found anything good in him. How can we ordain him a priest? And what the superior general said was, what do you know him of? Can you find anything, just any gift, you know him that is good of? And the reply they gave was, St. John Vianney was a prayerful man, and also he was a humble man. And the Spirit General said, because of this, he will be ordained as a priest. Because of his humility and because of his prayer life. Many of us, the gift we have may be just to pray or just to be humble, but sometimes we don't make use of this gift. And this is what Jesus is telling us today. You have to make use of your gift. You have to ask yourselves, why am I here on earth? Am I here on earth just to eat, sleep, and wake up? Or am I here on earth for a purpose? God created Adam and Eve and placed them. Their own gift was to take care of the Garden of Eden, but they wanted more. They wanted to be like God. Many of us want more gifts. I need a lot of gifts. I want to sing in the church. I want to play the keyboard. I want to be in usher. I want to do a lot of things. Why not do one and leave others for other people? Discover your own talents and be happy with it.